today's demonstration, we're going to be showing uh, Creo Sketch. Creo Sketch is a new freehand 2D painting and sketching app. Uh, this, is going to, this will be freely available for download. We're going to start the design here using a regular pencil, and we're just going to sketch out a rough shape. The design we're trying to achieve here is a new design for a, a wing mirror for a car. So I'm just going to rough out the general shape. And I'm not too concerned about getting it perfect at the moment. This is just a rough concept. Once I've got the general shape laid out, the next thing I'm going to do is put some curves down. Curves are going to help me to be more accurate when I come to painting. I can use them as a mask so that when I am painting, the, the paint will only go inside or outside of, of the curve as I like. So I'm going to manipulate the curves around, get the shape as close as I want to my underlying uh, freehand sketch. Um, and I can tweak the curves, I can modify the tangencies of the curves, I can move them into position to get the exact shape that I am after. Once I've got the shape um, as close as I want, again, it's, it, it, you can get it as clean or as crisp as you want and get the lines and curves as smooth as you want to get the exact shape. Once I've done that, I'm then going to go in and repeat the process for the, the back end of the mirror, where the mirror actually attaches to the car. And I'm going to build some curves there as well. So again, I can paint that in or airbrush that in later. Again, it's very quick and very easy to manipulate those curves around to get the exact shape that you're after. Once I've done that, I can then use the airbrush command and I can choose a color. In this case, I'm going to use blue. And I'm going to select those curves. So now when I'm airbrushing in, the paint is only going inside those curves. It's not going to splash out on the outside. When I've got the general uh, airbrush area painted in, I now want to add some highlights. I can quickly do that using the eraser tool, but turning the opacity right down on the eraser tool so that it just adds highlights as opposed to um, removing all my underlying paint. With that done, I now need to put the mirror in. So again, I can create a new layer and I can add, uh, select the curve that surrounds the mirror and then use the fill command. With the fill command, I can either fill a solid color or I can fill a gradiated color, in this case from black to white. Now I've done that, I'm gonna paint in or airbrush in the area uh, where the mirror attaches to the car. This again will add some uh, or, or compose the image, give the, the image something to sit against. Finally, what I want to do is put a nice hard line going around the outside of everything. So for this, I can use the auto trace command. This allows me to select any brush, in this case a pencil, select my curves, and what it will do is it will automatically run that uh, brush going around all the curves. When I've got that done, I now just need to clean up my, uh, my image. So here I'm just using the eraser tool to rub out some of the lines that I didn't want or some of the paint that I didn't want to make it nice and smooth. To finish off, what I might want to do is add a nice soft shadow underneath. So again, I can use the airbrush tool, change my color, and I can airbrush directly underneath my image. So it appears that the image is, is, is not floating in space. And finally, I might just want to add some text on there. So again, I can use the text tool and type in the text I want. In this case, set the, the size of the text, type in the text that I want, and also have the ability to change the color of it as well as the font. And that is Creo Sketch.